What is going on guys? I am back with another Minecraft tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build this mini market. Alright, so if you want just the building itself, then from left to right you're going to want 42 blocks. And from front to back, you're going to want 20. Then, if you want to include the parking lot at the front side of the building, then from left to right, you're still only going to need 42 blocks. And then from front to back, you're going to need 29. Then, you want to make sure that there's at least 8 blocks of grass in between the two lines at the front side for the parking lot. Alright, so here in part 1, we're just going to be doing the exterior of the building. So you're going to want to grab some white concrete, orange concrete, black stained glass panes, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, dark oak fences, and gray concrete. Okay, so as you can see, I'm at the front side of the shape right now. So we're going to be starting at the front side of the building. Then you want to head over to the right. You could go from the corner for the shape for the building itself and you want to count in towards the back side for spaces so including this corner you should have one two three four now you want to go over to the left so you're on this grass block make sure you have your white concrete and place it right there in the corner so that is just going to mark out the front right the front right hand corner of the building so as soon as you have that then you know exactly where the building is going to be. So just make sure you just have that one block of white concrete there at the front right hand corner of the building. Now right behind that block of white concrete you just want to place another 13 going towards the back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is going to be the right side of the building. So make sure you're back at the front right hand corner of the build. Switch to your white concrete. You could place a block to the left side of this white concrete here. Then go behind that block and place one more. Switch to your black stained glass panes to the left side right along the same edge as this back block. You want to place six black stained glass panes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Switch back to your white concrete, place 2 here. Then bring it out an extra layer and place another 2 so you have 4 in total. Then switch back to your glass and place another 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Switch back to your white concrete again. And right here, the pillar, or like the, um little space of white concrete is going to be a little bit bigger so you can place two here and then bring it out three layers so that's one layer two layers and three layers so it should be right on the edge of the shape that you made so this is going to be one of the pillars for the middle section of the building and then right here is going to be the front door so all we really did so far is the front right side of the building and then the actual right side of the building so you should have two six block wide windows here at the front. Okay, so make sure you still have your white concrete. Go to the left side of this bigger section here and you can skip over four spaces. One, two, three, four. Now on the fifth and sixth space, you could place another section right here. So make sure it's the exact same way that that one is. Now, you could go to the back side of this section, switch back to your black stained glass panes, and place another 6. So it should be matching that right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Switch back to your white concrete, place 4. Switch back to your glass, place another 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, switch back to your white concrete and place another 4. So that is going to be the left hand corner for the front side of the building right there. 
Okay, I guess real quick we could go ahead and bring back this white concrete, another 13 spaces. So it's matched up at that right side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that right? I think I went back a little bit too far. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, because we already had two there. So bring it back another 12. Uh, so you should have two or two spaces of grass and then your shape right here. So it should be like that on both sides. All right. So there we go. From up above, this is what the build is looking like. So we did the right and left side. And then we did the front side. So now all we have left to do is the back. Okay guys, so for the back side of the build, it's going to be just about the same as the front. The only difference is we're not going to have any windows at the back side. So we're just going to be filling it in with white concrete. So let's go back here. I'll start at the back right side. So if you're looking at it from the front, I just went to the right. And we're just going to basically be matching it up to the front. So you can place another two blocks here. So it makes a total of four in the corner. Then you want to make sure you're on the further block. You could place six, so instead of having it glass, this is going to be white concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so as you can see, we have to place another four here. And then to the right of that, you could place another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, as you can see, we have a big pillar here. So you could place one, two, three, four, five six seven eight go back to like the back side skip over four spaces on the fifth and sixth space you can place another section here now go to the back side of that again and place another six one two three four five six then right here place another four it should be matched up with that side and then you could just bring this in another um six and then place two more here so it should all be matched so this was another six and then we just place an extra two okay so from up above at the back side of the build now it's just like a solid wall no windows and it should be looking like this okay guys i'm back at the front side of the build i'm gonna switch to my orange concrete and we're not gonna have any on top of these bigger sections right here in the middle but we're going to add two extra layers of orange concrete on top of all of the white concrete everywhere else. So for this pillar, just four spaces, but make sure it's two blocks in height. And then you could do the same thing for this side. So two spaces, wrap this all the, whoops, wrap this all the way around to the back. Fill all of this in. Let me add the extra layer. Then back here. You could bring this all the way across, fill all of this in, continue bringing it across, and stop it right here, right on the edge of this section. Add an extra layer on top of this. So from up above at the back side, we just have orange concrete right here. So now I'm going to do the same thing to this side. So I guess I'll just start right here on this edge and just completely fill it all in, or like cover it all up with two layers until you meet up with that pillar there. So from up above at the front side of the build, it's all covered up ex except for these four big pillars right here. Okay, now on top of all of the spaces where you have your yellow concrete, you can switch to your white concrete and add an extra four layers on top of it. One, two, three, four. So completely fill all of this in. And like I said, you just want to do that all the way around where you placed yellow concrete. Okay, guys, I went all the way around on all of the sections that already had yellow concrete. And I brought it up an extra four spaces with white concrete. So it's looking like this. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to our black stained glass panes and bring up the sections where we actually have glass. So you wanna add an extra four layers on top of the bottom layer that you already have. So it's five in total. So that's one, two, 
three, and then four. So now it is five in total. You can then switch to some quartz stairs, place them upside down above that top layer of glass, and then switch back to your black stained glass panes and add an extra layer of glass on top of the quartz stairs. Okay, you can then do the rest or like do the same thing for the rest of all of these other spaces where the glass is. So I'll do this one right here. So an extra four layers of glass, so it's five in total. And then upside down quartz stairs. And then a layer of black stained glass panes. So it should be matching that side. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. Okay, there we go. I brought up all of the windows at the front side of the building. Okay, so with your white concrete, you just want to add an extra 10 layers on top of these sections right here in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now you could cover up all the rest of this space. For the rest of the pillars, you just want to do the same thing as well. So, including the bottom layer, it's going to be 11 in total. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to do the same thing for the rest of the pillars. Okay, I almost got the final pillar done. So there we go. All right, so I'll go back up to the front side. Just that's going to be like the main middle section of the building. Once again, we're going to have the front door here. And I also decided to add a back door. So maybe the employees could just go back here. You can add an extra parking lot. So it's like employee parking spaces. But that's all up to you. I actually didn't add a like anything to the back side of the build. I just decided to leave that entirely up to you if you just wanted to add an extra parking space at the back for employees. Or what you could do is just completely patch this up and not even have a back door. Like I said, it's up to you. But anyways, make sure the build is looking like this as of right now. So I guess we'll go ahead and start covering up those lower sections with a roof. Then... We could go ahead and maybe start doing these middle sections. So we have the front door, the little logo at the front and at the back. So we could cover this middle section up with a roof as well. And then we just have like the parking lot and a little walkway at the front side of the building. Then we're done with part one. It's really not that like complex of a build. It's really simple and it's not that big. But anyway, just make sure it is looking like this as of right now. Okay, before I forget, let's go ahead and switch to our quartz slabs. You want to make sure you're at the top edge of all of these upside down quartz stairs that you placed in between the windows. You could just bring it out an extra block. So it's kind of like overhanging like that. They could place it around the pillar. Like that. Continue bringing this along, place it around, like wrap it around the pillar right here. And then just wrap this towards the side of the building and around the back side. And you just want to do the same thing again. So just around all of the white concrete. And you can stop this one there. Now go to this side. We want to make sure we're on the top edge of the second block. So make sure to skip this first block. Make sure you're on the top edge of the second one. And just continue wrapping this all the way around. And make sure it's all wrapped around here and it should stop right there at the side of that pillar. Okay, so now I guess what we could do is start doing is the roof. So you can switch to your gray concrete. Make sure you're at the space above like all of the glass and all of these pillars. And you could just bring some gray concrete right along, right on the edge of that. And we'll just stop it right there. Now you want to make sure to bring this towards the front two extra blocks. So it has a nice little overhang and it should be at the same edge as 
these slabs right here. As you can see, they're at the same edge. Okay, there we go. So I placed a total of three gray concrete blocks, having one layer on top of all of the glass, and then we brought it out towards the front, an extra two spaces. Then over here at the right side, we gotta bring this out one extra space, so it's at the same edge as this, these quartz slabs. Then you can add a layer on top of all of this white concrete, and just do the same here as well. And then make sure this is all overhanging by two blocks again. And now we have to go to the side of the building over here. Make sure it's overhanging one extra block. Okay. Now let's go ahead over to this side of the building and do the same thing. So on top of all of the glass, just add an extra layer with gray concrete. Then make sure you're on top of this white concrete. We'll just wrap it around. And make sure you're still on top of the white concrete. And wrap it around until you meet up with the pillar again. Right there. So here at the back side, we just got to overhang it in extra two spaces. Alright, and then over here, we have to overhang it one extra space. And then here at the front, just another two again. So basically, all you really want to do is make sure that your gray concrete is at the same edge as these slabs down here at the bottom that jut out a little bit. Make sure it's at the same edge as, as these quartz slabs here on the side, and at the same edge as the quartz slabs that jut out back here. That's all you need to do. Just make sure it's like that. Okay, you can then switch to your yellow concrete. So instead of filling all of this in, we really don't need to. We just could switch to our yellow concrete. Make sure you're right at the middle of these three spaces. And you can just wrap around a layer. Alright. And wrap it around the back. So as you can see, there's three spaces back here, but there's only two on this side. So keep that in mind. Then we'll head on over to this side. We're going to do the same thing. Then we're just going to add an extra layer of gray concrete the same way that we did the bottom layer on top of this yellow concrete and then we have the roof for these lower sections done so make sure it's like that switch back to your gray concrete and we'll just add an extra two layers here at the front so bring it out too all right there we go so make sure the bottom one is jutting out an extra block and the top one's jutting out an extra block the yellow concrete should be like in, like inside the gray concrete. It could wrap around the side of the building. Then after you wrap all the way around this yellow concrete, you can go from the inside and completely fill it all in because this is going to be the final layer for the roof. So I wrap this, whoops, wrap this all the way around. Now I'm going to grab a potion of swiftness to get it done really fast. And you could just go in the middle of all of this like the middle of the shape with your gray concrete and completely fill it all in. Make sure you're right at the edge of these pillars. So don't fill in any of the space in between here. Just make sure it's right along the edge of the shape that we just placed with our gray concrete. So I'm filling this all in. Then we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so there we go. I finished this roof here at this lower section at the left side of the building if you're looking at it from the front. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing over here. So you can just add an extra two spaces here at the front. So it's overhanging a little bit on top of the yellow concrete. Make sure it's still overhanging. Wrap this all the way around. Then wrap it around here. So you just want to make sure it's at the same edge as the lower level where the gray concrete is. Then fill all of this in. We could go ahead after we fill this in and start... I guess we could start doing the roof for that taller section. It's like a little bit taller. Then we have the roof for the build done. Then we really just have to do that middle section with like our logo and stuff and our front door. Then just the parking space, like the parking spaces. And that's it. 
So let me hurry up, fill this in. We'll start doing the roof for that middle section. Okay, so there we go. Just make sure you did the lower sections for the roof and it's looking like that. Now, what you wanna do is make sure you have your white concrete. You could go at the top edge of all of these pillars. So for this space right here in the middle at the front, you could just add an extra layer like that. Then you could go to the sides in between all of the pillars, add an extra layer again. So it's like right above all of this gray concrete. Do the same thing on this side. And then the same thing at the back space here. Okay, then you can switch to your gray concrete. What you want to do is we'll go ahead and add an extra layer of gray concrete on top of the edge of the white concrete for this section. So as you can see, I'm just wrapping it around. Then what we're going to do is bring it out an extra block all the way around. So it's just overhanging one block. All right, and then it's going to be the same design that we did for the rest of the other roof areas. So switch to your orange concrete. Make sure you're on the inner space, not the outer space. And you can just wrap one layer of orange concrete around the inner space of the gray concrete. Then on top of the yellow concrete, just add an extra layer of gray. And that is going to be the final layer for this roof. So switch to your gray. Make sure it's overhanging by one so it's at the same edge as that lower level. Wrap this all the way around to fill in the space in the middle. Okay, so there we go. I'm then going to fill this in. Let me use my potion. So we just have, like I already said, like three times the rest of the middle section, then the parking lot, then we're done with part one. So in part two, I'm just going to be doing the interior. The interior is literally like insanely easy. It's really simple. There's not much to it. I should be able to get that done really quickly. And then that is going to be it for the build. So just two parts for this build. That should be about it. Okay, so here at the front side, it is looking like that. So as you can see, I'm at the front side of the building right now. You want to make sure you have your white concrete. I'm going to go at the top edge of this space right here in the middle. We're going to add an extra five layers. So that is one, two, three, four, five. So including the top layer that we already had, it's going to be six in total. You could go to the back side. We're going to do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five. Then fill in this space here. All right, switch to your quartz stairs. You could place them sideways, upside down at the corners of the space and then curve the two in the middle in like that. Go to the back side or the front side and do the same thing. You can then switch to your black stained glass panes, bring it up four on each side, then curve out the bottom one and the two at the top. The second space here, you're going to use your dark oak fence and that's going to be the handle. Go back to the back side and do the same thing. Okay, there we go. So now all we really have left to do is the logo and then the main exterior of the building is done. Then we just have the parking lot and then we're done with part one. I'm gonna stop saying that now. That is like the fourth time I've said it. So yeah, let's go ahead and start doing the simple logo at the front and back side. Okay, so I have my quartz slabs. And you want to make sure to leave one space here at the left side. You also want to make sure to leave one and a half spaces at the top edge in between the yellow or in between the gray concrete and the slab we're gonna have here. So just make sure to bring this over six spaces. Or wait, I think it's five. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, I believe that's good. So five spaces like that. We left one space here at the left. 
and two spaces here at the right and as you can see one and a half spaces at the top then here at the left side you could bring this down an extra two blocks as well as the right and they could bring it down half a block right here in the middle so that is going to be an m then you want to go just half a space below that m you want to make sure to leave one space here and then you want to place one two three four five and that is good so we left two spaces here at the left now then add an extra two blocks on each side and one like half a slab in the middle so there we go it's going to be m and m and that stands for mini market which is what this building is so it's just like that so the top one is one space at the left two spaces at the right the bottom one is one space at the right and two spaces at the left Okay, let's go to the back side. We'll do the same thing. So right here, just one space at the left. And you can start it here, right? Yep. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Bring this down two, and then one in the middle. Then you want to go to this side. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down two, and then one in the middle, and there we go. So now I'm going to head back up to the front side of the build. We'll start doing the parking lot and the little walkway. And that is it. Now that I think about it, I forgot to add the texture to the walkway uh, at the original build. I think I left it completely uh, andesite. Yeah, I left it completely andesite. I forgot to add texture to that. Whoops. Uh, I guess we'll have that. We'll add that. And then, yeah, it'll be all taken care of. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Okay guys, so I grabbed some cobblestone, andesite, gravel, white concrete, black concrete, and quartz slabs, and that's going to be everything for the walkway and the parking lot. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the front right side of the build. You want to make sure you're lined up at the corner right here, and you could cut out six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you could bring this straight across to the other side. So this is going to be the little walk space so everybody could enter and exit the building. So you're not like walking in the actual parking lot itself. So now I'm going to cut out all of this space within that shape that we just cut out. I'm going to grab a potion of swiftness. And you just want to make sure. Um, I think for the build, I had my quartz floors for the interior right underneath the glass so i guess we'll do the same so just make sure to bring it in right here so right in between all of the pillars make sure it's not underneath the glass then you could go ahead and continue cutting the rest of this out and for this section once again we're not going to be underneath the doorway here that's going to be the interior floors so you could just bring this straight across bring it in right here continue cutting out whoops so you like right there don't bring it in that far continue cutting all of this out and now i'm just going to cut out all of the rest of the space here in the middle then we'll start by filling it in with andesite and we'll add all our extra texture after we fill it all in okay so there we go i cut all of that space out i'm going to switch to my andesite and completely fill all of this in Okay, there we go. I filled it all in with andesite. You can then just cut out a bunch of random holes. And I'll start with the cobblestone first. So all of these random holes I'm going to fill in with cobblestone. Then I'm going to cut out more random holes after this and fill it in with gravel because that is the last block we have. Then we'll start doing the parking lot. That is it. So let me go ahead and cut all of this out. There we go. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to fill all of this in with cobblestone. Okay, I fill that all in with cobblestone. Now I'm going to switch to my gravel and do the same thing. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so there we go. I have the pathway done. Now I'm going to start cutting out all of this grass as well as this strip of concrete here. And I'm going to be replacing it all with black concrete first. So we'll go back and add our white concrete for the parking spaces themselves. So I'm going to cut out all of this space here. Bring it straight across. Then you could bring it towards the front. Make sure to cut out all of this concrete as well. So after you cut out all of this, you can then fill it all in with black concrete. All right, guys, I've just about got the parking lot done or not done, but all filled in with black concrete. So there we go. Make sure you got it all. Now I'm going to switch to my white concrete. I'll head over here all the way to the edge here at the right. Make sure you're just right at the edge of the black concrete and you can cut out five spaces. So you should have one block of black concrete remaining. Then you can fill this in. You can skip over to the left three spaces. So on the fourth block, you could cut out another five. So that's going to be one parking space there. Uh, I decided to just add an extra block of black concrete because I thought it looked a little bit better than having the edge of the white concrete just right at the edge of the parking lot. So like I said, I just added an extra space of black concrete. Makes it look a little bit better, I think. Now I'm going to skip over another three spaces to the left. Cut out another five. Fill this in. Skip over another three. Then cut out five. There we go, and I believe it's just one more. So one, two, three, and then one more parking space here. Okay, so we have a total of four parking spaces here at this side. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. So right here is just going to be a little space where people that are just like exiting or entering just walk right here and then to their vehicle. All right. So now the last thing we have left to do are some quartz slabs, which is going to be added on top of all of like the stone that we added to so just bring some quartz slabs right along, right along the edge and stop it here at the edge of this concrete. So like that, they could go to this corner and bring it straight across once again until it is stopped there okay so now i guess what you could do is delete any of the concrete that you had around the edge of the building so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna fill this in with just grass blocks and then that is it guys okay there we go so this is what it looks like okay guys so that's gonna be it for part one on how to build a mini market and if this did help you be sure to please leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in part two